Coming soon, a new vibe for the streets of Westchester. I think that we're going to see a, um, an uptick in momentum for sure. A second chance for a development where some retailers have struggled to survive. This time around, the focus won't be so much on shops. It's become more of an entertainment type project. Um, Shopping is a lot easier now because you can go online. So if you want to have bricks and mortar locations, you need to make it more of an experience, yeah. which this whole interchange accomplishes. In the recent year, the streets of Westchester has added entertainment venues. Top Golf and the main event have helped liven up the streets. With that um, follows um, other retailers and restaurants um, that want to be near near those guys that are you know, bringing people in from all around. Local businesses say they're already seeing an increase in foot traffic. It's coming back quite well. Um, so we're looking forward to filling in more spaces along our strip here as well. Being that this is a growth corridor along this anyway, so we're really happy to see there's a lot of commitment. As for eateries, Chewy's Tex-Mex, Matt the Miller's Tavern, and Holtman's Donuts have announced they're moving in to the yet-to-be-built portion of the streets next year. The Duluth Trading Company has also committed to the project. Looking at the plans, Eric Abrams and Josh Rothstein with on-site retail group won't give away any secrets. They have a few locations in town, highly sought after, nothing in the suburbs. But say expect more announcements soon. And now the one question so many people keep asking me, what about Bass Pro Shops? You may remember three years ago, Bass announced it's building a new store right near the streets of Westchester. That was never built. The sign's still up. Just recently, Bass brought Cabela's. Cabela's has moved into Westchester. So to be honest with you, I have not yet been able to get an answer as to what the company's plans are, but I'll keep trying. Reporting live in Westchester, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. And you better